So we're doing a little uh, fencing today. Had this section, you'll, you'll see in a second, I had a, one panel up and I wanted a gate that closes where the, the lean-to is for the horses to get out of the weather. I've been needing to put a couple strands of barbed wire and the three-foot horse fence, which I bought a bunch of that. Um, it's super hard to find. Um, most people that are doing horse fencing aren't buying the three-foot variety. They're buying four or five foot, but we have many horses, so I was using the shorter stuff. And I talked to all the manufacturers. Nobody's even producing it, so you got to find it wherever. Um, I was about 50 foot short of what I needed to do with it, so... Uh, I was working up in Washington and Colville and there's a farm supply store up there and called them. They had three rolls of it. So I picked some up. It's been sitting here for a while. It's one of the projects that needs to get done. So uh, I stretched the top wire already. I'm almost done with it. I'm going to stretch the second and then put the uh, three foot horse fencing into that and that'll free up one of my panels. Get that project tidied up and done. So check it out. All right, so I got a couple minutes there, but then my phone stopped recording because too many videos on there. I had to go clean, clean some of it out. But anyways, I got those two wires up. I'm going to put that three-foot wire underneath it. These fencing nails, I drove these in a little bit farther than usual. You don't want to drive those all the way in tight and suck the wire up against the post because this wire does stretch and you got to come and tighten it down the road. You want it to be able to float through those nails so you can stretch a long section at once if you smash them down into the post you can't pull it through obviously this is a super short run so i put them in a little deeper because i shouldn't have to do too much tightening and if i do i have alternate tightening tightening method, methods that uh, work out a lot so <clears throat> um fence stretcher must have must have for doing this and uh, so we'll get that uh, three foot stretched under there, nailed off, and check one more project off the box. All right, got her done. Didn't get a chance to put some of the video putting it up, but it's basically just rolled out. Use these uh, wiring staples. Start down here, staple it off, beat it with a hammer around the edge to get it to bend the way you want. Throw some more staples on this side here. And then I went, instead of going on the outside here, instead of running the outside all the way down, as you can see the horse chews on the wood a little bit, she's a cribber. So I went on the inside, it kind of gives a little more stability anyways that way. And then back to the outside here. So I got the two strands of barbed wire and the three foot horse fence right underneath it. So now I got my gate back there that I can use to close them in here if I want. And my other panel over there that I can use for something else now. So that's all done, tidied up, ready to throw them back in here. I also cleaned out this area with the skid steer this morning. It was... Uh, quite full of wet hay and horse dookie. But I'm gonna have to bring in some material because I got a hole right here. Holds water. There's kind of a swell right through here and drains out through there, but this is a lower spot and it has been. So I'm gonna bring some material in, fill there, and then I'm gonna build a little pad over there in front of the, the beater for a tank. Hope everybody uh, is doing well. Hit that subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment. God bless y'all.